Welcome back to Today in History. I'm your host, Clayton Schneider. Today, May 9th, in 1502, Christopher Columbus went on his fourth and final journey to the Americas. In 1939, Italy annexed Ethiopia as part of the Italian East Africa. In 1960, the first birth control pill was approved by the FDA. And lastly, in 1974, the investigation of Richard Nixon started, later leading to his impeachment. A lot happened today. Well, that's been Today in History, and I'll see you next time. The U.S. is on track to hit their debt ceiling and run out of money in less than a month. For the first time in history, the U.S. will be forced to go default. This could cause not only the U.S. economy to fail, but also the global economy as many countries rely on America. This means millions of people could lose their jobs, the stock market could crash, and prices will be exceedingly high. In recent news, the World Health Organization has declared the end of the COVID-19 health emergency. This comes after many countries have lifted their restrictions and have come to a sense of normality. The WHO declared COVID-19 to be a public health emergency six weeks before it was being referred to as a pandemic. COVID-19 cases and deaths have been at its lowest than they've been in the past three years. And according to our world data, 70% of the world population has been vaccinated with at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. This does not mean COVID-19 is over. Almost 7 million people have died of COVID around the world, and 1 in 6 total deaths have been in the U.S. itself. Recently, on the week of April 24, 2023, 3,500 people died of the virus, and billions still remain unvaccinated. Keep in mind, COVID-19 is still being considered a pandemic but this action shows a downward, downward trend in its severity. The United States is set to end its public health emergency on May 11th. In recent news, Russia has accused Ukraine of trying to kill Putin with a drone attack at the Kremlin. Russia claims they were able to disable the drone and claim no casualties. A video that was verified by the New York Times showed two drones detonating over the Kremlin 15 minutes apart. More attacks on Russian soil have been reported recently, even though it is really rare. Ukraine has denied responsibility for this attack, with President Zelensky himself saying, We don't attack Putin or Moscow. We fight on our territory. We're defending our villages and cities. Some people are suspicious that the Kremlin has staged this attack as justification for further escalation into the war against Ukraine. People are already suspicious of how a drone was able to cross into Russia's air defense without getting shot down, and how this event coincided with preparations for Russia's Victory Day celebration, which is on May 9th. The Kremlin considers this attack a planned terrorist attack and will retaliate whenever and wherever it sees fit. More news is to come. Aside from underage drinking being against the law, and so there are some consequences when you do that where you have to deal with either Arlington County Police or one of these other municipalities. Um, every young person, not only here at Washington Liberty, but around this country who goes out to prom, and remember, I did that too in 1991. I was a prom, I was a prom attendee myself. The most important thing for me back then was getting back home to my folks.